Hello you gorgeous mother truckers you and welcome to another video. Right then, so extremism. It's a powerful word. It really is. And there is extremism in everything. There is the actual extreme right. You know, your your Nick Griffins and the National Front raving lunatic idiots. And then you've got the left. And they're extreme. But then you also have religious extremists. And we are, of course, talking, as always, about Alan Snack Bar members. Now, in Alan Snack Bar, there are some people who are sitting right at the back of the restaurant. And they are beginning to say, you want to keep the noise down. Um, some of us want to actually get on here. Uh, sadly, there are only a few minor voices. And the rest of the really loud uh, members of Alan's Bar... Um, they drain them out and threaten them, which is what they do with everybody else. Now, I'm going to play you a clip. Um, this is from a Twitter page called Azat Azalem. I've said it probably wrong, and if I do, I apologize. It's a bit of a clip. We're going to go through it. Now, as always, because I know some people go, well, oh, you know, he keeps interrupting, and he likes the sound of his own voice. I have to do it because of fair usage, okay? Plus, it's also sometimes useful to go back over it. And what you're going to see here is terrorizing thugs being allowed to do what they want to do by two-tier policing. Because if it was the other way around, and we were doing this, us on the far right, sorry, 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 due to the um, Met chief, uh, extreme right yeah because I'm extremely right about the fact that you're useless at your job and you're two tier policing in any case and you're going to see things and hear things and we're going to discuss them as we go through so let's bring it up and let's start uh, with the old plane <laughs> the anger police doing nothing but in any case let's carry on Right, straight away, free Palestine. The boys had to be rescued by the police as bottles and eggs rained down on them. Now, you're probably trying to figure out what's going on. All this is because some Jewish lads were walking their dog by these lunatics, these evil, nasty, horrible things. Because they are, they're violent terrorists. And here we go, no, no, he's not a terrorist. They're inflicting terror upon somebody. They're a terrorist. It's kind of the definition. Look it up. Any case, let's carry on. Mohammed Hijab then threatened the police officer that he'd kill the boy's dog if he saw it again. Right, now listen to what this guy's saying. Notice this is a gold commander, okay? And he's going to stand there and he's going to let this guy here. Mohammed Hijab, yeah? Speak. I'm going to listen, and then you're going to listen to what he has to say. And and just imagine if it was me saying this to a copper. However, when, the, when those violence came in with the dogs, yeah. that, was a, that, was, that was an act of provocation. So right, so how he's coming in with a pack of dogs, an act of provocation. Oh, I know, it's because the members of Alan Snack Bar don't like dogs, which is why I've got one. What we're saying now, and I'm making it very clear so everyone understands, yeah. if those dogs come close to us again, we will see it as an act of aggression. How, you see, how is it an act of aggression? You're coward. You're scared of a dog. You're scared of a dog, and you're using it as an excuse to be a thug, to be a terrorist, because you're terrorising people. And he's actually saying, in front of a gold commander... And we will kill those dogs, Mike. Right? We will kill those dogs and we will put them down. We'll put them down. Hijab and Dawa then led the crowd to speaker's corner. And as the mob marched through London streets, screaming, we'll find some Jews. We want their blood. The police did nothing. Let that sink in. They're calling for our literal blood. And the police are just strolling alongside them. We'll find some Jews there. Not the Zionists, not the blood. So how is that allowed? It's all right, I know it's been an echo. I've finally fixed it. I've been working on it. I've sorted it. So they're actually saying we're going to kill someone. They're actually threatening to kill people. And our police do 
nothing. This is the nice anti-Jewish edition. How is that allowed? Imagine if I said this is the Nike anti-Muslim edition. I'd get arrested, and you know I would. I wouldn't say it, but it's true. <laughs> a couple of hours later, we were violently assaulted leaving a kosher restaurant in an anti-Semitic attack. I hate to say this, but I'm not sure there's a future for Jews in this country. We're being attacked on the streets by extremists, and the police do nothing. And these are the people that we're letting in by the thousands. No, we really are. We believe that life begins at death. Well, that proves what a complete knob you are. But in any case, I mean, that just shows you how insane this religion is. How are they allowed to stand around and do this? How are they allowed to do it? How are they allowed to say it? Why aren't you doing anything, Met Police? Oh, we all know why. We all know why. Then let them have it. Well, apparently, just this guy, they, they love death. Never experienced it then. We love death! And if you think that our people in Palestine or across the Arab and Muslim world will let go of the struggle and our sacred places like the Luxor, you are grossly mistaken. How is he allowed to say that? How? Grow up, you stupid knob. If you, if you, seriously, dude, if you think it's out here, get on a plane. We'll, we'll give you a free ticket. Go pick up a gun and fight because you it won't. Never happen. Oh, flipping out of the Sorry, sorry, Alan Snack Bar. It can be found in Scotland, apparently. After a pro Palestinian convoy drove through a Jewish neighborhood threatening to rape Jewish women and children, this odious pair drove to that same neighborhood, Gelders Green, broadcasting inflammatory messages on the side of a lorry. Now, this is the same kind of thing that when done the other way, the lorry's pulled over and taken off the road. He says here, in summary, the UK does not feel like a safe place to Jewish people. Now, imagine that sort of language being used on the 1st of June. I know you in the media... You twisted, syncopantic, narcissistic lawyers. Because you're not journalists. You're actors. You do as you're told. They tell you to do something. You do it. You're a disgrace to the human race. But you went, ah, it's far right, far right football hooligans. Ah, which did nothing when you got people like him saying he's going to kill stuff. Saying he's going to kill Jews. Saying he's going to do this right in front of gold commanders. That's a senior police officer. And they do nothing. Yeah, on the 1st of June, I also noticed that none of them were wearing their riot gear, unlike the 1st of June, where they had the helmets dangling off their belts and will be on the 27th of July. It's two-tier policing. And it's not even two-tier policing. It's two-tier society where one particular group are allowed to say and do anything that they please with zero consequences and zero recourse. And if you go, oh, well, you know, no. Anyone who says, well, it's no, you're supporting them, you're as bad as them. And that's the same for you who sit there with your heads in the sand or saying nothing. You say nothing, you bury your head in the sand, you're supporting them. The election's on the 4th of July. It's not far away now. Labour are going to win. It's going to get a lot worse so, so much quicker. And what will it take for you to get your head out of the sand? What will it take for you to say something? It's starting in America. It's starting in France. It's starting in Holland. It's starting everywhere where people are going, we have had enough. In Ireland, they're really fighting hard for it. Here in the UK, there, 
silence, apart from a few voices. It's only going to get worse. And when you allow a bully and a terrorist to mouth off and get away with it, it's just going to get louder until eventually they kill someone and nothing's done about it. Any case, with that one, I'm done. So, until the next one.